Oh yes, and it's the next video. Greetings guys and gals and fellow gamers, this is Games for Kicks and thank you for joining me in another episode, the third of the Horde, no sorry, the second of the Horde's videos. Oh man. Oh, hey, yes. These hordes are gonna be... Oh my god. Oh shit! Oh, I don't know how to do that. I have... I'm running slowly out of ammo. I'm slowly running out of everything. Okay, this is not going that well. Oh! Whoa, okay. Let's do it the good old fashioned way. I can see the shadows, I know they're there. a waste maybe but I needed a bit of a drink yeah I know I'm gonna get rid of you Where's the other cop? Make all the arrows count on the big guys. Wow. Excellent. Holy crap. And they're still coming over there, holy shit. Look at that, they're tearing my place apart. Well, I know how to take care of you.
Okay, come on guys, let's just get it over and done with. Oh, okay. Now, my house is gonna be a mess still, and they spawn right here. I mean, look at this. They're literally spawning right there. Come on. Come on, Poochie. Yeah, there you go. Wow. Holy shit, wow. They have completely destroyed everything. I mean... Oh, great. That's bollocks. And yeah, that I like I said, I mean, you saw me fight them. I don't have an issue fighting them really at all. But that was that was the spawn of Satan. I mean, that wasn't even in any way, shape, or form funny at all. I mean, wow. Okay, so. Let's see what we have here. No epic pieces? No? Okay. What do we have here? Son of shotgun. Let's fix that. Now, I'm gonna be spending the rest of the episode cleaning this up and, and tidying this up. And then after that, in the next episode, I will start on my actual, um, wow, there's almost so much fixing up to do this insane. Wow. Okay, so let's put that there. Oh, somebody was also saying about the wood windows, that you can make wood windows and then break them or something. But I can't seem to break that down, so I don't know if that's true or if it still is and was. I don't know. Now this, on the other hand, is something I can do. Yeah. I do like them apples. Okay, um, yeah, wow, <laughs> I don't know what to say to this really, that was intense. Now it was fun, mind you, like, yeah, so I know it maybe didn't look like it, but it was fun. Now what do we need to make mix, um, mix, 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 mix. We need cement and gravel. And I have cement. And I have gravel. Okay. Holy shit, that was something else. I mean, wow. I can't get over that. That was like, how many zombies was it? I mean, I leveled up twice. That was just insane. And I'm nearly, look at this, I'm nearly up again. Holy crap. Why is that all black? Why is that black? That looks weird. It's probably... I have to fix that with cobblestone or something, don't I? Might as well take cobblestone with me, put the gun away. Actually, the guns should be going here. So let's put the pistol here. Let's empty these shotguns. And I... let me just take one of those bullets.
Okay, so this storage chest here is for... Okay, so we have that there. Because this is after all where we make all the armor and everything. And um, let's fix this up. All in all, this actually, that house was holding quite a while, like, so um, I'm actually impressed. So let's see if we can fix this with cobblestone. Nice. Oh, what is that? No reference. What? What the hell? Okay, that's weird. Okay. <sighs> Do I have to repair it first or something? And then use that? Yeah, wow. So it actually fails to repair and can only upgrade it when it's fully repaired. Interesting. I'm actually amazed at how much is still standing, even though there was a seriously uh, a serious attack. Wow. Ooh. Okay, so, hey, excellent. And the ground here is still in good shape. Okay, so let's uh, take some frames yeah take some of those guys and let's rebuild is it oh that was all wood yeah that was window and wood so let's just rebuild these here So yeah, sorry for wimping out on that. Well, I, I wouldn't consider it wimping. I, I just, the, these guys just didn't stop spawning. And there's nothing you can do about it. So I mean, what what are you gonna do? If something doesn't stop spawning, I mean, you can't fight them indefinite. What, what is gonna happen? Are you gonna stand here for six hours and what then? You know, so um, yeah, I don't know. It looked a little bit OTT. Like I said, it's not the problem that I can't handle a couple of zombies and dogs. I mean, you saw me, I, I was well able for it, you know. But, I mean, tell me in the comments if this is normal and if these things ever stop. Because if you're saying, no, no, this is going on like this for a while and then they stop, then I will just turn it on again and just deal with it, you know. But if they, for example, keep coming all the time, every day like that, then this let's play has no point because I also want to create, um, you know, uh, creations. You know, I don't mind if they get half destroyed and have to repair them. That's fine. I don't have an issue with that. These things happen, you know. I mean, restoration, in my opinion, is all part of the job, you know. I mean, that, that belongs to it. But um, not being able to build them in the first place is a completely different story. Okay, so let's put one more here. Yeah, and I have an antibiotic downstairs, so I'm gonna take that then. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Damn it. Now my OCD kicks in. Um, okay, that's all repaired. Beautiful. There never was a door here, so that, that wasn't a problem. And there never was anything here. So, all in all, not too bad, not too bad. Now I need to go and dig up some earth somewhere else. Now I'm level 32, and this is supposed to be soot. Yeah, but somebody was asking me about the soot path. Now, um, I find this looks very skyrim -y medieval. Well, okay, I, I don't think it deserves to be compared to Skyrim, so it's very medieval-y. Let's ignore the said Skyrim. It looks very medieval-y, yeah? But what I actually really would like is just to make this dirt 
like this, but the problem with dirt is it keeps growing grass on it, and I don't like that. So that's why I made this sod. Okay, that's the only reason. Now... Yeah, that's actually not too bad. Oh, I have dirt. Do I not have dirt in one of my chests? I just want to make sure everything's fixed. Yeah, okay. So, let's go around. And let's see if I have dirt. I have dirt indeed. So why don't we use that? And leave this here and this here. And... Okay, cool. Okay, so anyway, I hope you're here. You can't really complain too much. Like the, it was pretty exhilarating. I think um, the whole fighting. Um, yeah, this held up quite well. Actually, this little area here was fine. Um, that was actually quite handy in a way that the zombies got stuck there. I know it's gonna be it's supposed to be sod, but um, a sod keeps saying sod. No idea why. But in the moment, I just want to get this fixed, so we can continue working on our cathedral. There we go. Okay, that looks cool. I think so. And then just fix this hole up here. And it's as good as new. Like nothing happened. Very nice. Good. Oh yeah, let's get the... Yeah, that was some serious repair job we had to do. Oh, there's a bit of a hole here. Oh, there. Okay, now I think I fixed everything. Yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm really lacking the words in the moment because I'm just thinking about what just happened and what evolved here today. That was just, wow. <laughs> um, I also think that the second episode was a bit cut short and I apologize for that. That was just because I, it felt like I was fighting the zombies forever. Okay. And it literally did feel like I was fighting the zombies forever. But when I checked the time, I think it said something like 21 minutes. So I apologize if the second episode was a bit short. It, it, it felt a lot longer and I didn't want it um, to end up in a 40 minute episode so I um, kind of couldn't look at what I already had recorded of course and um, hence we ended up with that weird cut now in the second episode where it's a bit short. So um, what I'm gonna focus on in the next episode is uh, purely the cathedral and it should be a nice change of pace again uh, very nice and relaxing for a change And we're going to have to build up our little spikes here. Also, what I want to do is... I'm not sure if... Let me just test something, actually. Um, um, I don't have actually... Oh, yeah. 
Okay, let me try something. So if I put metal sliding here, or actually, let me put a spike down there for a second. Um, let me. Okay, let me just get rid of some things. So let me get rid of the paper, for example, and the coffee. We don't need the coffee and the jars. We're going to fill them up later. And one pickaxe is enough. And one of those is enough. Okay. Now, I should be able to make, actually, um, items now in the level of 370. Uh, it's not, which is not blue, so we wait a couple of more levels. Now, if I make a, oh, I have spikes actually here, so I don't need to make them. So if I actually uh, put the woods, what I want to test is if I have this here and I put these guys here. Can I fall down there? Okay. Okay, wow, I can. So I just want to make sure that... Um, so does that mean I can put... Can Oh, you see, I can't put the metal siding now on, on two sides two sides because that would be awesome if I could do this now and put it also on the inside here on the other side that would be awesome I really think they're gonna do that because um, if the fun pimps are watching I don't know unity 5 but can you not do it that if I do this that it acts like an upgrade like something similar to when you do that was when you upgrade that okay when you fix something you upgrade it yeah like these you see the way you have this metal here can you not change it that if I say, hey, I take this material and I want to put it on this, but what it actually does is upgrade the block itself with the texture and applies the attributes to that block the same way so that you then theoretically can say, oh, okay, I can do it right on the opposite side as well because it doesn't create that, uh, that block here. I mean, we can fall through it simply because it's transparent and it's probably an offset in the color or whatever. But um, I'm actually going to do this, and I'm going to put the metal sliding um, all the way around. Now, I'm surprised they actually got in here, and I think that had to do with the fact that they could stand here on top of this and reach, reach the top here. And that's bad. We have to stop doing that. So what we're doing instead is we're going to move this one over so that we have two rows here and this one over so we have two rows here in between and then we put two rows of woodlock spikes in and here I'm pretty much going to have to do the same. I have to move everything one over and here one over and there one over as well. But I'm going to do all that off camera and... Um, yeah, so that's it for this episode. In the next episode, again, like I said, I'm going to focus mainly on the church, but we'll do some of the work here. Um, I'm probably going to time lapse it in the next episode and just basically, you know, the all that painstaking work where you have to do this, move it over by one. You know, I'm probably going to just time lapse that in the next episode because these guys, um, yeah, I get them back, so it's okay. And I'm going to move that all one over, one over, and so on and so on. So, excellent. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, kick the like button in the in the arse, like the ninjas you are. This is Games for Kicks. Feel spaz and happy gaming. And I really hope you enjoyed this and you're ready for more. And join me in the next video.